Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. This is a game between Septum and Kier on Overgrowth, the latter edition, in the bottom left side of the map. Excuse me, we have the red Terran player, it is Septum. And in the top right side of the map, we have the purple Zerg player, it is Kier. So this is actually an Into the Void this game sent to me a while ago, but not so long ago that Overgrowth was in the ladder pool. And the fact that it's a purple Zerg means... <laughs> nice little flip there, Overlord. Now, this is a custom game played between friends. Hmm. We'll have to see how this turns out. For those of you unfamiliar with my Into the Void series, it is our examination of silver and bronze league level uh, gameplay. And we're just here to learn and laugh and just see something different from, you know, the pro level, which is very well executed, but sometimes not very creative. So we'll see if we can see some creative play here on this TVZ today on Overgrowth, which is a map that I kind of miss. I really, I don't know, I just really miss these plants. The flowers, the jungle tiles, the dirt, the gold and blue. I don't know, just something about this map I really, really enjoy. So welcome back to Overgrowth. It's been a while. And we do have a hatch first here from Kier. Haha, <laughs> here from Kier. Kier is not interested in making an extractor or a spawning pool at this point. He is still droning up. He is sitting here at a lot of a lot of minerals. Perhaps he's going to go for a spawning pool before the extractor, which I'm not a huge fan of. I really like to have speedlings as fast as possible. Actually, he's not doing anything. Oh my goodness, he went for a third hatch. He went for a third hatch before pool, now getting an extractor. Wow. Meanwhile, in Terran land, what are we doing in Terran land? Just making marines. Man, a reaper would be so good in this situation. A reaper would be showing up here in about 30 seconds. This pool is not even close to being halfway done yet. Reaper could have gotten so many drone kills, but again, it's into the void. So this player with the control of the Reaper maybe wouldn't have been able to achieve that goal of getting like 10 drone kills. And that's why we watch. That's why we watch. Pro tip, you want to actually put drones onto your extractor as soon as it's done. Instead of having it sit there for a while before he decided to do that one. He is saturating his natural base, and his third base is coming up very nicely as well. So just Marines, Marines, Marines. No tech lab, no reactor, one refinery. Here from Septum, so this might just kind of turn into a Zerg stomp at some point here, but again, it's into the void. We've seen players with huge advantages just throw them away, throw them away like they were worthless to the player because it's into the void and bad decisions were made or one bad engagement in StarCraft 2 can really cause you to lose an entire match. Has saturated his extractor. Our Zerg player has a second extractor coming up in his main base as well. Has a drone that almost made it. There we go. Almost made it over to mine at the natural base. Stop for a second. And then decided to continue. Third base done for Kier. Really, really just sitting here and turtling his septum right now. He's got three supply depots walling off the front, which aren't actually walling off. Two of them are down. He has a bunch of marines here. He has ten marines. He's going three racks marine inside his main base. Now he's going for a factory. If these marines walked across the map right now, I as the look, I think they're going to try to do it. I think they might just win the game. I'm not even kidding about this. Finally getting a queen is Kier. He's not getting speed for his lings. He doesn't actually have any lings. It is 32 to 23 harvesters. The Zerg player is way ahead in economy. Marines, go! You can do it! You can win if you walk all the way across the map right now and just kill everything that you see. I think you got this. I don't, I don't think a drone surround would even do much in this situation. This is way too many Marines for that. 18 Marines... This could get uh, this could get problematic. I want to say for the Zerg player, what's is it still nothing, still nothing. So the macro of the Zerg player is really not bad. Teching up to a lair at this point too, at the three minute mark. Okay, four minute mark. But uh, no Zerglings. Got some queens. No spine crawlers. No anything. Is he making that one a lair too? He's making his third base a lair too. He's upgrading two lairs. What is happening? Well, the Marines are here. All right, Kier, what you got for us, man? Um. Natural base go and die. 14 lings on the way. So 14 lings, again, it's a lot of marine. It's 14 zerglings versus 23 marines is not a great battle at all. So here come the marines walking right up into the main base. There are two queens and there are drones here. Drones forced to fight as well. The lings are popping out. No micro on display from the Terran player whatsoever. He is going to get surrounded. He's going to kill a lot of things. But all the marines are also dead. So that's 11 drone kills, 2 ling kills, a queen, and an overlord killed in exchange for 15 marines. Resources lost, 750 for the Terran, 850 for the Zerg. And more marines are coming up. There's a bunker at the front door of this natural base. So it's 23 to 25 harvesters. Kier does not have a lead anymore, but still has that third base. It's kind of a big deal. 
fills the third base, throwing up four spine crawlers at his third base that he doesn't even know. I don't think the Terran player even knows it exists. These Marines shooing away the Lings are trying to take down this bunker. The Lings trying to run past. No, that's not going to happen. Are we going to micro anything here? The Marine, oh, just sacrifices himself, takes some shots to the face so all the Lings die. And they're certainly dying. They are certainly dying. They're trying to come up here and do something about these front bunkers, but they're pretty well placed. There are enough Marines that can go inside the bunkers. Get inside the bunkers. You guys know. There we go. Just just stay here for now. Stay here for now until that second bunker's up. Uh, more Marines just trying to bait the Lings into this bunker area. A couple Marines are dying. Again, they're sacrificing themselves to make this thing happen. They are killing so many Zerglings. That is 30 Zerglings killed so far. Resources lost. Now 1,550 for Kira, 950 for Septum. Ooh. So this bunker's still alive, not burning down. There's a second bunker here as well. Go kill that natural, man. You got, you got the natural. You could probably kill the main. Actually, third base is going to be a problem with these spine crawlers, but that uh, there are eight Zerglings on the field right now for the Zerg player, and that's just not, it's not enough, is what I'm saying. What is this? A Ford factory out of Septum. Septum has expanded now as well to his natural base. Factory is making a tank. This factory that was built for Septum like five minutes ago, finally making a tank, which is what you want to do. I'm okay with that. A little tank marine action and ZVT never hurt no one. There is a queen that's going to pop out of this hatchery, this natural that's under fire, and the marines are forced to go away. Can three marines that are fully unupgraded take down a queen? I don't think they can. I'm pretty sure they can't. A Nidus worm. Nidus network coming in here for Kier and a roach swarm in two. So Kier having a hard time spending his money. Actually, both players are around 700-700 on that way. This natural base, I think, might just straight up die. Not entirely sure. The, why is there a supply depot right there? Septum, you crazy. I like this. I like this. Supply Depot kind of at the front, not even really at the front, just kind of alone. Marines say goodbye, Queen, dead. Spine Crawler's gonna die as well. More drone action, but this time there isn't any support. I don't think there's any support from any Lings at all. This is just a massive drone massacre. The Spine Crawler's not gonna come up time. Oh, the Roach is just barely coming out in time. This might be enough Roach. The Marines are trying to fight this anyway. Yeah, and these numbers, with these upgrades, the Roaches are going to be just fine. Tank, set up in siege mode, and you can help here. Tank, there we go. Siege moding the tank, and now we attack with tank support. And the Roaches know to get the heck on out. One getting exploded regardless. I think, pretty sure the natural base is toast at this point. It's been shot at for the last, I want to say, five minutes, but it is finally gone. Brooding's coming in. Ooh, tank splash. Hurting some of his own Marines there. Ouch. But eight kills. Eight kills on that siege tank. I think some of those are broodlings, which don't actually show up in the units lost tab. For good reason. You didn't really make them. They just kind of popped in. All right. So natural base gone. The problem is secret third base. Secret third base. Not seen by our Terran friend here. And this he thinks he's got the Zerg player stuck on one base, which is a good feeling, but it's a lie in this situation. And uh, tank's trying to come down that, or rather Roach is trying to come down that ramp. Not working super Duper mega well. A scan to get rid of this creep tumor would be really nice. Your orbital commando is almost full energy. You could probably stand to do that one, Septum. Perhaps next time you will. All right, what do we got? Marines on the low ground. Tanks on the low ground. Uh, Marines inside a bunker that could be assisting here. Once again, I think our Zerg player is dead. If we come up the, the put the tank a little bit closer here to the bottom of the ramp, move the Marines up. These roaches die. There's a couple queens here, but it's not really a whole lot. Tank closer. No, no, no. Tank support. All right. Marines just killing the roaches anyway right about now. Yeah, there we go. Pulling back. And that tank splash is so good. Ooh, another roach dead. Some more roaches popping out, though. Queens. There we go. Queens tanking tank splash. Roaches tanking tank splash. That's what you want. This tank has 11 kills, and he so loves to kill roaches. Look at this. 70 damage per shot versus armored, which is what a roach is. Just splash damage, too. And it's just, it's not a great feeling if you happen to be a Roach, which reminds me of The Witcher 3. Such a great game. Your horse's name is Roach, and the horse is female. I don't know why. Geralt, you're kind of a weir weird dude sometimes. Okay, unupgraded Marines, unupgraded tanks. Go, go Septum. He got this. He got this thing. Yeah, moving the tank a little closer. I like this. Wait, no. There we go. Took a second. Coming up onto the ramp, setting up. Marines ready to rock. No, no, no. Attack move. There we go. There's the attack move. Tank getting, again, just beautiful shots up on these roaches. They're getting wounded by the Marines, and the tanks are just absolutely finishing them off here. Another tank shows up. The roaches thought they had it, but uh-uh. 
No, they you need something to spot the high ground. You need something to spot the high ground. Roach is coming from the backside. Link's from the backside. As well, finally uses a scan to get to the high ground here. Roach is right on top of the tanks. Not ideal, but better than if you're not attacking the tanks at all. So at the end of the day, we have a tank. We have a marine at the front here for Septum. Push in. Kill some stuff. We do have seven roaches in production from Kier, though. See, this is why we see a lot of aggression from Terran players, because that's how you win these games. If you let the Zerg player remax, you let them get a bunch of more units out, you're going to lose. We sit back and wait and wait and wait. You got to kill bases. You got to kill a lot of stuff. It's 23 to 14 harvesters. The Terran player is doing very well for himself. Oh, and he's to transfer his SCVs out of this main base down to his natural base, though. He, I mean, you have a lot of SCVs, but there's two mineral patches, and everybody's using them. That's not very efficient mining at all. Uh, I should, yeah, it's 700 to 400 minerals per minute. Zerg player is up, even though he's down 10 workers because of that very situation. Another spine crawler coming up here inside the main base. This Nidus network has not done anything all game, but I feel like if you just put all the roaches in that thing and put up a Nidus worm right about here in the main base, I don't know how Septim would respond to that. I am just going to say it would catch him by surprise, most likely. Probably kill a lot of things. More tanks on the way. I like that he's going tank here. He's got two. He's going to have a third one coming up very soon. Uh, these Marines are ready to go. Again, upgrades for Marines are super mega incredibly useful. If you just made one tech lab. One tech lab to get stim and get combat shield. These Marines would be so much better than they are. Medivac support also helps them. Increases their success rate by about 9,300%. And a Liberator! Alright! I like this. A Liberator setting up here would cause Kier all sorts of problems, too. Marines checking. Is there... Oh, did they check to see if there's a third base? Almost! Oh, he did! He sees it! Oh, thank goodness. He barely catches the edge of that creep and decides to scan and says, There's a surprise third base! How long has that been there? The answer is pretty much the whole game. Pretty much the whole game. Tanks can't fire on the spine crawlers. You need to put the tanks close enough to fire on the spine crawlers. There's actually a cyclone here too. How is this creep tumor still alive? He scanned that like twice. Hmm, tank closer. You can move so much closer to those spine crawlers without dying. I promise. Come on, come on, there you go. Little, you, I don't know if that's even in range yet. Let's see, uh, no. Nope, not even in range. How can I hit, where is that thing? So that's the, maybe? Oh, it's a vision thing. So it does have a range. It just doesn't have the vision required to get it. <clears throat> All right. So just, it's a patient Terran is what it is. Uh, APM about 50, currently 16 for the Terran player, which would explain what we're seeing here out of Septum. More Marines, more tanks. Septum knows tank Marine is good. Again, upgrades better, but tank Marine is hard to argue with. If you uh, are trying to decide what the best strategy for Terran is, another spine crawler coming up here inside the main base this night is network doing nothing these roaches waiting for death they're just sitting back waiting for death oh here we go we have somebody who can spot the viking and the liberator can spot the distance required to hit those spine crawlers if they want but they're sitting exactly on top of where there it is just barely pokes her head out does this liberator and now in range of the tank is that single spine crawler look how much damage they do against buildings bam spine crawler did Killing absolutely nothing. Nidus Worm erupts down here at this third base that Septum's trying to build. Nope, cancel it. Get a refund on your money, Septum. Can't cancel it. No refund on the money. All 400 minerals are dead. Everybody coming back home to deal with the roach infestation. Here they come, roaches and queens. Token resistance of Marines met and dealt with. Roaches coming into the natural base. Get out of here. Get out of here, SCBs. Oh, they were smart enough to transfer to the natural, though. That's good. That's very good, but I think they're all going to die. Coming from the back side, we have Marines. We have tanks not using attack move. What are you doing? Why are you just walking up here? No, Septum, no. Uh, that went super bad. Super mega bad for you guys. Marines trying to stand in and fight. Tank trying to fight too. It's so few hit points because walk past all those roaches without attacking anything. So uh, Roach is going to come up. This is a nice counterattack. Out of cure, this natural base is going to die. Lifting it and flying back into the main might have saved it, but there are queens here, so who knows. Tank on the high ground for Septum. One tank and six marines on the high ground uh, against four queens and ten roaches. Maybe? Maybe yes. Maybe we could do this thing. Um, doing the smart thing to get to the top of the ramp and try to kill this siege tank before it kills all of them. This clumping together is really bad, though. I think the tank is going to die, but he's going to end up with a whole bunch of kills first. Yeah, he's dead. 
Marines try to fight here as well. Are all the roaches gone? All the roaches are gone! Who killed all those roaches? Probably dead Marines. Probably Marines who gave their lives to this defense. Meanwhile, uh, Septum is still attacking this main base, of this third base, rather, of Kier. Maybe perhaps unintentionally. The Queens transfusing each other. That's pretty good stuff. It's just Queens on their own. Especially now that they're a medevac support from Septum here. Uh, maybe not great, but they just... Wow. Uh, yes, that Queen just killed... That wasn't a tank, was it? What did that just kill? Something just popped out of there. And these queens are being way, way more effective than they have any right to be. Supply Depot's going to die. Alright, one queen is dead, and the other queen is now dead. Supply Depot does explode, though. And so we're stuck on one base for Septum. And by one base, I mean zero income. Yeah, that's a zero. Still have some gas income, which is nice. But the third base explodes for Kier. Losing a lot of drones for Kier. Okay, so both players are kind of sitting here on what I like to call one base, except it's it's not one base at all. In fact, as nobody's mining, okay, there's one mineral field here for Kier, one mineral patch. It has 65 remaining um, minerals. Uh, Kier has about 1,400, 600 in the bank right now. Septum has 65 minerals, which is really bad. More roaches coming down, trying to do their thing for Kier. Gonna get rid of these Marines because they're not pulling back to the safety of where the tank is. That was not great. That was not a good look for Septum, but that's okay. Roach is coming up that ramp and not doing super well. It turned that, did that tank just kill four Roaches by himself? I think he did. You are a stud, Siege Tank. Well done. Okay, pro tip. Lift this off. Land it over here. Don't long distance mine with mules. That is a really bad idea. Are you doing this, Septum? You're doing this, Septum. In this emergency situation, or even non-emergency situation, if you're pretty much mined out of your main base and you need a command center for another base, as Terran, you have the blessing of being able to lift the head off and land it somewhere else that you actually want to mine, instead of having the long-distance mine from your natural to your main base, which is just the most inefficient way of doing anything ever. All right, Kier, what's your plan? Uh, you still have this Nidus Worm at the front. That's good. You do... Oh, what? <laughs> Kier's plan is to expand as close to the Terran player as possible. Uh, he's expanding to this third base location that Septum might have... I mean, he tried to use just north of his main, got it shut down, but it's something he's thinking about. So that is an interesting... <laughs> that is definitely an interesting idea from our Zerg player. I don't know why he wouldn't expand, like, anywhere else. This seems like a very tenuous location to hold here. Also, these guys need to push the front. They need to push on this main base so bad. Right now, you're doing nothing. Nothing. Even just sending the cyclone in and going pew 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 pew. I think you kill everything here. I think the queen would die. Uh, there are a bunch of roaches in this Nidus network though. That's actually more roaches than I thought there were. There's eight roaches in the game still. They have plus two missile attack too. I didn't even notice that. Good upgrades. That's why. That's why the the Roaches are doing so well against those Marines. They have upgrades and the Marines did not. <gasps> Septum! Septum! Septum, my friend, you did it. You found the confidence in yourself to lift off this orbital command and land it at your natural base. You are my hero. You are my hero. Liberator setting up a defensive mode defender circle at the ramp into the main base. But you... Hold up. Septum, why are you going over to this third base location? You're not nearly mined out your natural. Nope. Not even close. All the, also, the SCVs are already here. Alright, it's cool. It's totally cool. Mm, orbital Command gonna land at the third base. Pew! I think it's a little off center. See, the circle needs to be on top of the circle. That's how this needs to work. Uh, oh, shoot, the roaches showed up. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of roach. That is 13 roaches. 13 roaches with plus 2 missile attack coming on down to try to kill the Terran player. Can't do it. Can't do it. Gonna pull back and defend their newly found second base just right next door. Right next door, neighbor. 14 SCVs to 8 drones in the game right now. Where are the other drones? Are they on gas? I guess they're on gas. I don't think they need to be on gas. Oh, Nidus networking themselves across the map. There we go. To do some mining here at this natural base. Uh, why are you long distance mining drones? Don't do that. Oh, it worked. They went back. They went back. To their newfound home, which is defended by absolutely nothing. This main base is well covered by tanks and liberators, but perhaps it's a bit of a fake out, right? 
Kier doesn't know this is here. Kier does not know the third base is there. Kier thinks, I mean, as far as he knows, he hasn't really scouted everything. That the Terran player is on one base and probably mined out. And just need enough roaches to get up there is the idea. Or teching up would probably be a fine idea. At the same time, um, Cyclone got kind of close to moving into the main base. That's great. Oh, there's two spine crawlers at the top of the ramp, though. That's pretty well. Pretty lo well located. Uh, if you have to say something about that. So two tanks at the top of the, the top of the uh, area here for Septum. Oh, the Ravager upgrade. Cure to size Ravagers would be a good idea in this situation, and I have to agree with him. Ravagers with Corrosive Bile, good against tanks, because they can't dodge it. They can't dodge it. Also, better range, also better speed. Everything about Ravagers is pretty darn great. Except for total hit points. 120 compared to 145 on the Roach. Also, also the Ravagers are not armored, so they take less damage from tanks in general. They're just fantastic. Septum expanding to the gold base as well. Septum. Feeling very, very confident in himself right now. Is he actually making attacking units? Not really. He's making SCVs, which is totally fine. I'm okay with that. But he has a single tank. Defending here at his newly found third base of the Golden Overlord. Kind of accidentally scouts this for Kier. I mean, he's probably scouting on purpose. But he does scout this. And he does end up seeing the Constructing Command Center. He does see the tank. He does see the Cyclone. Is he going to come try to shut this down with his Roaches and Ravagers? He could. He absolutely could. But he's choosing not to. He's, ah, he's just 100% saying no. Nope. Not going to do that one. Resources lost at this point is... What are we looking at? 9,600? 9,600 for the Terran player and 1,100 for Kier. That's a lot of dead stuff. That is a lot of dead stuff. 112 Marines dead. 5 tanks. 38 Roaches. 11 Queens. 38 Lings and 30 Drones. Do we need to speed this up? Is that what we have to do? We're going to speed it up a little bit until these guys decide it's time to move out. Oh, it worked. Man, look at me go. Prodding these units. Okay, Roaches, Ravagers. Thought about it. Thought about killing that third and then came back to... Okay, we're going to speed it up again. Speed it up again. Try to convince you maybe it's a good idea to do that. Starport coming on the way for Septum. Already has a starport that is being used to produce Vikings. Why on earth are you producing Vikings? Ooh, Night is Worm. Inside the main base. He's going to Nidus his way into the main base of the Terran. Thinking that's all he has to do. I'm pretty sure he thinks that's all he has to do. So, uh, the Nidus Worm does erupt. And some units come out. And it does not get killed. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Tank. Liberator. Going to kill stuff. Corrosive Biles. Almost killing the Liberator. Not quite, though. Look at this Liberator. Go. Wham. Wham. Wham! Shots! 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 Crows of Bile! Not taking it down! This thing is still murdering stuff, you guys! It is still <laughs> killing things! Six kills! On this Liberator! And Crows of Bile finally takes it out! That's really rough news. Roaches chasing some tanks and some Cyclones back home. Stand in and fight, Cyclones! You got this thing! You got this thing on these Roaches! Really hurting them quite immensely! Marines trying to hold their own as well with the medevac support overhead! And I think the Terran's gonna win that one! However, there's still a handful Three roaches and two raptors inside the main base of Septum, which is super duper mega bad, but everybody else is still alive. Second and third bases still live. Main base is in shambles. Using Corrosive Biles to take down these barracks, which, again, I don't think Septum is really even planning on using today. Uh, but so far, nothing's really stopping them. So there is, again, I don't know why Septum has Vikings. He has three. He's got three Vikings. I'm not sure if he intended to make Liberators. Or what it was. It's just a tiny bit of a mystery. So 24 minutes into this one, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Let's take a look. We have five Marines, a tank, a Liberator, a Cyclone uh, against eight Roaches and two Ravagers and a Queen. So I feel like the Zerg player can win this thing, but he's so distracted by killing these buildings inside Septum's base. He's allowing Septum to produce more stuff, more Vikings. Why are you making more Vikings? I don't understand. Septum, help. Help me understand why you're making Vikings right now. Vikings are so bad in this situation. Maybe if your opponent had a lot of mechanical units on the ground, it'd be good, but that's not what's happening here. So he lets the barracks burn down. He lets the factory burn down. He lets everything else do whatever it wants to do. And here comes Kier. Dun, 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 dun. 54 to 45 total units. 
SCV scouting on in says, oh, there's a Nidus worm down here on accident scouting in here. Okay, again, we have the Vikings. I don't understand it. Cross the Bile doing some good damage there. Cyclone's trying to fight on in. No, not going to happen. Landing the Vikings, just getting obliterated. And this base is gone. This second base is gone, and that's it. Septum leaves the game. Kier is victorious in 25 minutes and 18 seconds. And Zerg's your winner today. That was that was a good Into the Void match, I'll have to say. That fits the parameters very, very nicely. The question of why Kier waited so long to attack, don't understand. The question of why Septum decided to make Vikings as his endgame unit, I will never understand. Never, ever. 14,000 resources lost for the Terran player compared to 11 for the Zerg. That just tells you. That tells you what happened here today. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. If you'd like to send me a replay for Into the Void in bronze and silver, send it to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole And you're running Into the void You go searching Into the void Find a place you can live A place you can love Is it just an illusion? When push comes to shove There's a light upon you reason and a way to atone all around you the planets and stars you're lost in a maelstrom
future Into the void And you're running Into the void